guys today I am heading down hopefully the final path of my seniorhood uh, in the last video I had just kind of put together the the patch for the back of the hood um, one of the things I was talking about I believe is just where where and how I'm gonna put the hole for the steering column to come up through the hood itself uh, the only thing I really did since the last time is I did add some more uh, fiberglass uh, the next thing I've done is I actually took a piece of paper and on the back side I made a template actually it was this way I made a template of the top half and then I just eyeball eyeballed and drew the bottom portion of the hole took my marker put that right there and the reason why I did that is this is where I want the rough opening to be um, I'm gonna have to do, you know, obviously I'm gonna have to do a whole bunch of filling work and we're gonna to have to fill this in. Still gotta work on these uh, mounting holes. But right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, um, I think I might use my die grinder with a small cutoff wheel or, or maybe my Dremel with a small cutoff wheel and just cut this section out and get this out so I can get a good visual of exactly how that uh, steering column hole will look. So as you can see, we have the rough hole um, in place. Obviously, there's a little divot right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape around the back side of this, and I'm going to mix up some resin, and I'm going to flow resin on the outer edge of this. So that way I can kind of dial in the shape. And once I have the shape dialed in, then what I can do is come on the top and get rid of all of this and fill this in and make this all nice and smooth. and. And just like, just like I did here on the front, straightening it out to the point where it looks pretty much original. Not 100%, obviously, but it's pretty much there. Uh, that's what I'm going to do back here. So let me go ahead and set the hood up and get this hole somewhat uh, in shape, or the final roundness of the hole in, sh uh, in shape and then we'll tackle the outside. With the hood set up in a precarious uh, position, I was able to get the back portion about as level as I possibly could. I did put some tape in the background. I put some tape around the edge because I have a knack to spreading resin all over the damn place and I don't want that to happen. Um, I just want to be able to fill the outer edge of the circle and fill in a few of these little divots um, also to make the this side a little bit bigger so I can make it round I did pull some of the strands out of the fiberglass itself so that way I can build up this side so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some resin I am gonna put a little bit of red paint in it so that way it, it'll be red and I'll get this all filled in and we'll take a look at it probably after I give it a general sand. After some filing and then some sanding I think I got the hole pretty well roughed in I'm real I'm real happy with the way that has come out. It really looks good. Um, now it's time to come in and start doing the finish work in order to get this all nice and smooth looking, especially down here on the edge. Because I, if you notice, the edge kind of comes down and then up. So I think I'm going to eventually make a little tape line across here and then just file and sand the, the fiberglass up. So it's basically straight from corner to corner. But from back here, I really like how that looks so let me go ahead and set this thing back up uh, in that precarious position and then I'm going to start to flow some resin down in this area and get this all nice and filled in and smoothed out uh, these the uh, drill holes also and eventually I'll just fill those in real quick because I'm going to re-drill th these holes for the kill switch so all right it's amazingly strong that's what's so cool it's like this thing is completely strong again so all right let me get to it we're almost there well all right there it is the top coat has been applied it's just curing at this point I was hoping to have enough to do the um, kill switch holes but my 
the resin started to kick really quick so but when we look at it that looks pretty flat to me so I'm gonna let this cure and then we'll then we'll sand it out and see what that looks and I'm hopeful that will be the last bit of heavy duty fiberglassing so there's the back all fixed up I'll get out of the get a little bit of the shadow out of the way but you can see that that came out real nice and it's wet right now so we can kind of get a good look at what it will look like when it's all buffed um, I'm real happy with the outcome of this so I'm gonna go ahead finish up washing this out and we'll let it dry off and then we'll get to wet sanding and buffing as you can see I started the wet sanding process essentially what you see here that's 600 grit this is 600 grit and then I quickly hit it with like 2000 afterwards and polished it and I think what you see here is exactly what the hood is going to look like when it's all polished up. Hopefully my camera is going to show you. This really looks good. I am fighting a bunch of sand scratches from the heavy duty sandpaper I needed to use uh, in order to get the old paint and to sand everything but when you stand back here, let me see if I can get yeah, you can definitely see what it's going to look like. And you can also notice how wavy the fiberglass is. That's basically what happens when, you know, was it 60, 70 years old? Was it 50, 50, 60s? You know, so 60 year old fiberglass that sits out in the sun for decades. That's what kind of happens. This isn't, a, this isn't Corvette quality of the day. Let's put it that way. So... We're going to, and I, and I did this with 600, so we're going to go ahead and continue sanding, uh, ultimately to get the sand scratches out, or the bulk of the sand scratches out, and then I will polish it, and I think it should look really cool. All right, a lot of sanding coming up. With the wet sanding complete, I'm heading into buffing, as you can see, it's, it's pretty... Uh, it, I say smooth, it's not straight. Obviously the original style fiberglass, you can see it's pretty wavy. So it's, but it, it is super smooth. And you can see with the, the lights, the reflection's pretty good. So I did it with 600, 1500, and then a 3000 grit uh, polishing pad, you know, color sanding kind of pad. And I got it to, to this level. I'll be going in and start the buffing process to bring the original red out. As you can see, the fix uh, around the steering column, that is done. I may have to just kind of manipulate the hole a little bit in order to get the steering column to look real nice in there. But other than that, it's, it's all fixed, the nice and solid, straight. The, uh, the hole for the kill switch, it's all set to go. The hole for the fuel fill nice and smooth it's all done all the way around the intake tube that's done the patch is finished the lower sections of the hood are done you can see I kind of started polishing that area but all in all it looks real nice I think the next thing to do here is just dig into it And there it is. It's about 90% finished. I do have to do like a final polish on it. There's a couple little touch-ups here and there that I need to do, but essentially it's done. Uh, I won't do all of the final little tidbits until the hood is actually mounted on the tractor. Uh, that's gonna be a while uh, because if, if you have a senior with a hood and you have to take the hood off, you know how difficult that can be or how cumbersome that can be. So. I'm going to want the entire tractor finished, uh, the engine running, everything's tuned, it's running and driving, and there's really going to be no need to take the hood off again, or a second time, let's put it. So, finish the entire thing, get it all tuned up, running great, then put the hood on. Uh, at that point in time, I'll do the last little tidbits I need to do to the hood in order to make it fit just right, look just right, and match the tractor that I'm building. I made sure I kept it all sweaty looking. 
and all of the you know all of the little stress cracks and the little pits and stuff like that they are all there so this this hood is not going to hide its history but it, i think it's going to look real good on that tractor on my tractor so i hope you enjoyed this video series if you did please like share and subscribe there will be more content coming up on the senior we got a bunch of machining that needs to be done so we'll be heading over to my buddy's machine shop to take care of some gears. We're going to be doing a gearbox. We're going to be doing a lot of things. So as always, thank you very much for your viewership. Thank you for your support. And as always, have a nice day.